Here we go again then, perhaps for the final time. This is chapter 7 of Lorelei, and I find myself on 12 Hell Road, or 12 Helen Road, I think, to meet with Jimmy. Hopefully not Jimmy the Crow, or Jimmy the Wanderer, just Jimmy. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, this looks familiar, doesn't it? Is this the plant Jimmy told me about? Maybe. <laughs> so, yeah, that's right. Okay. It's quiet inside. Wait, that's not where Jimmy lives. Why am I even knocking? Because I just want to have a little look around one last did time. I just hear a meow? I imagine you did. Knock again. Do it again. I'm not knocking ah. again. I've not come here to talk to Jimmy's neighbours. Oh, but you really should. It's one of those prepaid meters. Yeah, that's it. Put coins in the slot to top it up. I remember. Yeah, I remember doing it a couple times, I think. Okay. Anyone in? No, oh, I thought I was going to knock before I used the key, but okay. Who's that? <laughs> Don't know. Uh, let's keep on going. Wait, coins! Yes! Just steal some money. Maybe for the electric meter, you know? Right. Why are you upside down, Jimmy? His body's here, but his spirit's still in the other world. Yeah. Do you want to give him a couple slaps or something? Let's check out his bathroom first. Let's not wake him up quite yet. Ooh, all the bathrooms in this game just look kind of grim, don't they? There's plenty of hair all over it. Gross. Gross. Use it. Maybe I should splash some water on Jimmy's face. Would that wake him up? Probably. All I've got are the coins at the moment. So, are you telling me that there's going to be a problem with waking him up? Oh, hang on. Are people still using these? Evidently so. Let's give it a try. Hello? Jimmy! Wake up, mate! So, are we dealing with a real heavy sleeper here? <laughs> and there's a cup. Right, yeah, use the cup. Fill it with water. <laughs> Alright. See, I'm playing this, and in the back of my mind, I'm still thinking about Chapter 6 and all the possible ways I may have fucked it up. I mean, it seemed like a fairly good ending to the chapter, but... I don't know. I just it, I felt like I left some things unfinished. I only made the, the weak Molotov. Right. I think that did it. Good morning. Lorelei. Yeah, you remember me. It's you. You made it. I guess so. I did. Wait. That's better. Am I really awake? I can pinch you if you want. <laughs> Slap you around no, no. a bit? I can, I can feel it. <laughs> oh, my neck is so stiff. <sighs> this place stinks. Yeah, looks like it does. Go. Um... You promise you won't take me anywhere horrible? Like the last time. You're gonna go find another tunnel for me. It depends. Oh? Are you afraid of clowns? Well, who isn't? But... Are you at least coming in with me this time? Oh, you couldn't stop me if you tried. Okay. Well, that was terrifying. <laughs> Told you. Totally worth it, though. I think I lost my mind there for a second, when I was a crow. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't listen to me. I like to do things my way. Lorelai? Thanks for waking me up. I'm 
Sorry it took me so long to get here. I had some urgent stuff to take care of. Mm. You know, my sister and Zack and the police. But everything suddenly just clicked. And I think I'll actually be all right. I'm not so sure. <laughs> I'm happy for you, Lorna. She's not really dead, you know? You've grown up. She's never really gone. I suppose I have. Adulthood is like waking up from a long dream. There will be times you'll wish you were asleep again. But you can never go back to the same dream. No matter what you do. I'm glad it's over now. Again, I don't really think it's over. Because I'm expecting some last minute twist or the Queen to emerge in some way. I guess I'll take your word for it. I'll take your word for it, Jimmy. Yeah. Hey, remember that house in the dream world? I do. The one in the fields? Mm-hmm. Do you miss it? Do I miss it? Um, I don't know. I, I seem to remember the view from one side of the house was brilliant. The rest of it wasn't great. Ah, da -da 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 -da. <laughs> the house was kind of awesome. Yeah. I do. That house was kind of awesome. But it's alright. We've got a nice council flat. There's hardly no mold in it, and the neighbors aren't complete twaps. <laughs> it has a roof and a bed. No victories, I guess. And it's not in a dream. So, what now? Well, I'm ready to pull up my sleeves, work hard, and build a proper life for myself. Sounds kind of boring. Maybe to you. You weird dream traveling emo. Hey, hey, hey. Watch it. You want me to come and spy on your dreams again? Actually, I dreamt of the Silver Lake last night. Man, it shimmered like real diamonds. Later, I tell Jimmy about me and Zack moving into a new flat together. I tell him that my fears of losing Bethany to social services proved pointless, and that she'd been able to stay with us. Okay, cool. We're a little family now. Did you get her some proper nappies? Please tell me I managed that you to keep my job at the Pinecroft Residential Home. Okay. Zack's back to his games, keeping an eye on Bethany when I'm not there. Alright. With us looking after her, She's never going to cry again. <laughs> I won't be so sure, but okay. So it's just a nice, happy ending. Right, well, let's just have a little look around, shall we? There's Bethany. Can you smell it too? Wait. Something's burning. Burning? I hope it's not my hard drive. No, oh, don't say that. I've just been through it. I hope it's not Bethany. Right. Something burning. What's that beeping? Plan 9 from outer space. Wow, that's a film. Oh, shit. Use it. Wait. Careful. What? Oh, damn. Just before Christmas, Marjorie passes away. She never spoke to me, and yet... It hurts. Everyday life can be a drag. Work, shopping, cleaning... All the mundane routines we lock ourselves into. I can feel that with every obstacle, I'm headed towards a breakdown. <laughs> oh, hey, it's Al. <laughs> and not just me. No. Oh. Oh, 
Alright. What? Oh. <laughs> Health bars of sorts. At least Al's doing fine. He's still fighting the good fight. Yeah. So far, so good. I keep asking myself, is this the life I was fighting for? Was it all worth it? And every time these thoughts come back to haunt me, I close my eyes. And I see this place. My own world inside me that keeps reminding me who I am. A survivor. A powerful, unstoppable being. But probably not a mortal anymore, right? Then I open my eyes. Oh, here we go. That's it. Yeah, let it charge you up. Do my moral choices affect that in some way? Maybe. I don't know. I guess I'd have to play it through again and do other things to see what changes. And there you have it, that was Lorelei. And just like I thought, that chapter didn't last too long at all. Just a nice little way of rounding off the story, really, and rounding off the characters' stories. I think pretty much everything was wrapped up. It's a little bit of a shame that I couldn't, you know, help my mother, and maybe the officers. Yeah, aside from that, I think I did fairly well. I think the game's okay. I don't think it's perfect by any means, and I don't think my journey through it was perfect either. I mean, obviously I made some mistakes in Chapter 5, dealing with Al, and uh, I, I still feel like I could have maybe picked up the fertilizer and made a stronger Molotov cocktail. I'm still in two minds as to whether I should go back and just see what would have changed. Because it seems like we kind of dealt with the Queen of Maggots. I mean, this was a fairly happy ending, really. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm just kind of curious as to what would happen if I went through this and I didn't throw the starfish back into the ocean. You know, if I, if I ignored the fish and the cat and stuff like that. And maybe I completely fucked over Al. I guess there's gonna be, you know, there's there's more endings to this, right? And maybe I got the best one? I don't know. I think I got a good one, maybe not the best one. Uh, as to where this game ranks in amongst the Cat Lady and Downfall, I guess I'd maybe put this on the same sort of level. I don't know. It, the game was quite fun when it wasn't overwhelmingly sad and depressing, you know? I, I guess that's the nature of the story and, you know, the game itself. I was trying to keep my commentary to a minimum, to be honest. Uh, you know, I had all these, like, quips that I could give out and it just didn't really seem right. I wanted to treat this game with respect and a certain amount of reverence, you know? Because it's, you know, it, it's a lot of dark material here. And, uh, yeah, I just wanted the game to say it's peace, I guess. Um, yeah, fun experience for the most part. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you back in another playthrough, perhaps not quite so depressing, sometime soon. See you then. Knock again. Do it again. I'm not knocking ah. again. <laughs> okay. We're a little family now. Did you get her some proper nappies? <laughs>